935 your time. Focusing in on your health here, more than 1.7 million Americans are treated for traumatic brain injuries each year. The main causes, stroke, car crashes, bad falls, and assault. But did you know a hard hit to your head can also trigger something called a brain tsunami? So what is that? How do you treat it? A tsunami, a massive wave of destruction. But it doesn't just happen along the coast. It can happen inside your brain. These brain tsunamis, or spreading depolarizations, happen in people who've suffered a traumatic brain injury, or a TBI. What we're finding out is um, a likely culprit in more and more diseases than we ever thought imaginable. Um, it's, it's kind of like the hidden iceberg below the surface. After a TBI, brain cells can begin to short circuit and die. For the first time ever, researchers at the University of Cincinnati, well, they found a way to diagnose and test tsunamis to prevent more. This has actually been revolutionary in terms of how we think about how we treat brain injury patients. Neurosurgeon Laura Nguanya is using the same technology they currently use to monitor TBI patients, but with a new algorithm. We place an electrode strip on the surface of the brain, and this allows us to detect seizure activity, but it also allows us to detect these abnormal brain tsunamis. Researchers found the drug ketamine can stop the wave. Also, doctors can monitor blood pressure and body temperature to prevent spreading depolarizations. Now, there is currently no uh, standard of care for spreading depolarizations, these tsunamis here, but doctors are hoping now after a larger clinical trial, they will be able to create that standard of care.